Hey, what's up, folks? In this project, we're building a neon like sign with NeoPixels and CircuitPython. This uses a LEGO compatible base plate and 3D printed clips to build a light up sign. These NeoPixel strips are embedded inside a silicone diffuser so it looks just like real neon lights. Lots of folks are working remote, so we figured it'd be nice to build a sign to let folks know when they're stuck in meetings or recording their podcasts. Since it's LEGO compatible, you can adorn your sign with bricks and design something that's both playful and customizable. This uses the LED animation library for CircuitPython, which was written by Katni and Roy from Adafruit. The animation sequences are easily customizable, so you can adjust the speed, colors, and different attributes like the tail length, size, and spacing. With the latest improvements to CircuitPython, NeoPixel animations are as smooth as butter, and they're really easy to get up and running. You can get the parts to build this project, links are in the description. These LEGO compatible parts are interchangeable and can be set up to create a number of different configurations. The Adafruit feather mount secures the PCB to a LEGO compatible plate. The slide switch is mounted to a snap fit piece that can be placed on the bottom. We also made a piece for fitting a 2200 milliamp LiPo battery so the feather can be snap fitted on top. We think this could be really useful for LEGO builds that need a microcontroller for powering motors, servos, and of course NeoPixels. You can cut the NeoPixel strips by following the visible lines across the backside of the sheathing. To reveal the solder pads, you'll want to carefully cut through the silicone while leaving a strip over the LED so the lighting is still diffused. Labels are printed on the flexible PCB so you can see what the connections are for power, ground, and data. You can tin the pads by applying a bit of solder using the tip of the soldering iron. Silicone cover stranded core ribbon wire can be used for connecting multiple strips together. The clips are designed with a few different angles so you can make all sorts of characters and letters. The NeoPixel strips are pretty flexible so they can easily bend to form different shapes. Just press them in between the clips and adjust the positions to spell out words. The tolerances are pretty tight and the silicone sheathing provides a decent grip. Multiple strips are daisy chained together to spell out the word but it doesn't have to be letters. The wiring was sized and planned so the animations flow from one letter to the next. A slide switch is installed on the back base plate so the sign can easily be turned on and off. The feather is positioned nearby with the battery snap fitted close to the center. A wall mount piece is snap fitted to the top middle so it can be hung from a door. Extra bricks can be used to raise the base plate away from the door. This way there's enough clearance for the components on the back. We hung it on our door with a thumbtack, but you could also secure it with a command hook. The slide switch on the side makes it easy to power on when it's time for your next meeting. We had a lot of fun putting this together and really enjoy working with the neon-like NeoPixel strips. We hope this inspires you to try out CircuitPython in your next project. <laughs>